Hello. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How yes. are you? Yes, I'm fine. You? Uh, I'm glad you're fine. Thank you. So basically, uh, today we will try to discuss about a one topic, um, in the water quality monitoring. Okay. How we can depart from the water quality monitoring, mainly uh, NDTI. You already sent me the algorithm. Normalized difference turbidity yeah. index. How we can easily perform yeah. using uh, Google yes. Engine platform. Okay, so let's yes. go. Okay, so basically you already joined my one online training program. So that's why this time you also get the, some continuous support uh, lifetime. Okay, so this time we can easily, yeah. easily get from my, my site, no problem. So okay. okay, so let me share my screen. Just a minute. Can you see my screen or not? Mm, it's been loading. Okay, yes. I'm seeing. So, okay. So, basically, you can see this is your algorithm about that. So, basically, you want to use that the signal to satellite imagery. Yes. And then, part that you want to extract this type of band and then calculate it, the NDWI. Basically, it's the normalized difference water index. Uh, we are using the green band and near infrared band, and further we try to make that binary raster and just we are water marks. Okay, so that we can easily get the water body, and further we just yes. input this water body and then calculate it that uh, NDTI for this water body. Okay, so that's why we can get the normalized difference stability index. So let's go about that yes. in our code, which I already created in here. So just we simply open. Yeah. Okay, so here you can see this is the all code I already create for that water body. Uh, mainly in this time, we can get this type of result. So here you can see, uh, first of all, uh, it show about that. Okay, so it's our image. Okay, satellite image mainly. Uh, it's the sentinel imagery. Okay, and this sentinel imagery okay. is just water marks. Mainly these are water body. So I take my study area. Look mm -hmm. like that. So it's my water body. And from this water body, we are just calculated that normalized difference turbidity index. So we can get this type of result. Here you can see. So further, we can easily get yes. the idea of where the turbidity is high and low. Here you can see. You can simply click on here. Then we can get the color combination such so as uh, this type of color identify about the low turbidity. This type of red color identify about the high turbidity. Okay. So further, okay. if you want, you can also check the result from the turbidity index as well as also export this map so there are a lot of things you can easily do in here 